Guys, welcome to Game 2 between Nilsi and Crane. This is BSL Season 12 Hasu League Losers Bracket, Game 2. Upper right in corner, we have Nilsi as kind of that mustard yellow. Bottom left in corner, we have Crane as the pink Protoss. This is on Eclipse. And Nilsi doing Nilsi things is already wandering out with this probe. I assume we're going to see Proxy 2 Gate. I have not seen Proxy 2 Gate be successful on this map yet. Maybe if he can get this probe inside his opponent's base, might be able to sneak something out that way. It's kind of what I'd like to see. And then the question will be, will Crane scout it? But game one, Crane honestly just kind of going the perfect build and then following it up by not, by executing, really. And we do see he's hanging out. Oh, he's going to do, do proxy straight up in the natural expansion. So now the question is, is when does Crane scout? And how rapidly does that Zealot get there to defend this ramp? Get rid of the replay bar. Anti-spoilers. Gateway is up. The additional question is, so let's go ahead and drop vision here. Crane checking the corners for proxies, but is he going to see this pylon? Does see the pylon and sees the gateway. Might even be able to block the second gateway with this probe. Is in fact able to do so. Second gateway being plopped kind of out of range. Honestly, at this proximity, second gateway drop for Crane. At this proximity, I almost think you could pull a handful of probes with your first zealot and maybe even take down that pylon and win the match from there. It's going to come down to flat micro and decision making here. I got to give a big advantage to Crane having spotted that. Question is, is the X Factor will be a shield battery, but... Ooh, Manor Pylon, that'll help. Inside the base. So if a shield battery gets inside the main with that Manor Pylon, that could be the shifting factor in this match. Currently, though, it's going to be one Zealot out on the map. Zealot realizing the danger of that potential manor pylon. Working on that with the probes. Front door is breached. Two additional Zealots being produced. So it's going to come down to Micro in a defensive position for Crane. Crane is up 13 probes to 10 though. Another pylon being warped in for Nilsi. This pylon continuing to be poked down by that probe. Nilsi getting two Looks like two probe kills overall. And now retreating back to the natural expansion. Sorry, that was not Nilsi's probe. Nilsi actually in the red currently. I'm not sure if Crane realizes it. Because not capitalizing and pressing forward. Interesting situation here. Now Nilsi is going up against Crane, who's got his front door sealed. But still needs to press, <laughs> honestly, in the red against his opponent. Because Nilsi's all in. So basically, he needs to find kind of that razor's edge where he can sneak in, do some sort of damage, force Crane to make a mistake, and not let Crane get a Dragoon. As soon as one Dragoon's honestly out on this field, that could be it. Or even a, a Forge and a Cannon on the high ground. Any sort of range up there. Crane currently up 15 probes. Crane sneaking down, doing a little bit of damage. Losing the losing one zealot in that exchange, trying to swing back around, reshuffle his units to press out. Wisely, Nilsi putting down that second pylon just in case these zealots were able to break out. Currently, though, it's five zealots versus six, although those six are very damaged. Catching another zealot, so now it's going to be four. And a photon cannon warping out on the low ground. And Crane calling GG because just getting out microed on the low ground. Ha. So Nilsi at range... Finding that razor edge, Crane plopping that assimilator down didn't get find the space to get his own unit down. I was hoping he would drop a forge and plop a cannon of his own. And instead, Nilsi able to take game two with proxy gates. Yeah, I'm actually curious why Crane even uh, attempted to make the move out, seeing that second pylon down. He just needed to hold his ramp and he would have been fine, I think. But anyway, game two, 
Ghost and Elsie, we're going to move to game three in the loser's bracket.